You know, my concern is third and fourth quarter of this 19 because we're seeing strength in the fourth quarter. There's no doubt it's going to be a good Christmas selling season. And then I think the tax refunds in Q1 and Q2 are going to be big enough to make a difference. But I think by Q3, there's no more tax benefits. There's the consumers just whatever they are. So hopefully the consumer is still strong, but that would slow the growth rate. It's not that I think things are going negative. I just think the rate of growth in 2019 is going to be hard to be the same as 2018 and 2017. You believe Gannett when he says we're ready for any incremental tariff that comes in January? I don't think the incremental tariffs are going to make much difference. And I, he says they're ready. I think they're ready. I think all the big players are ready. I don't think that's the issue. The issue is going to be the wage Growth, does wage growth continue and does the consumer keep spending at the kind of levels they have? Does their credit stay as strong as it has been? And do gas prices stay down? All of that's flowing into it, but I still think the tax cut issue, it, it, it goes away. We're going we're gonna to annualize it, and that's my really biggest concern. I mean, everyone's saying growth, growth, growth this holiday shopping season, but for the retailers, is it going to be profitable growth, a lot more free shipping options? deep promotions, I mean, anything to take market share and get consumers into the store. That's the problem. We're going to see compression on the earnings line, and you're seeing that reflected in the stocks. Why are we going to see that? Because we're seeing inflation in wages, we're seeing inflation in shipping, we're seeing some inflation, a little bit at least, on input product, because we've already seen some tariffs come in. And that's going to feed into the business, but it's not going to feed into the selling price. So it all has to come out of either the supply chain are the retailer. Stacey, uh, we like to think here at CNBC that stocks can talk. They can't really, but if they could, what are they actually telling us given the performance we've seen, whether the results are good or bad or sort of neutral? Yeah, I think what we've seen in the last couple weeks is very much the top line is intact and the consumer is out there. However, expectations were incredibly high going into the quarter. So it's kind of like no good deed goes unpunished. You get the comp or close to the comp, but you know the bottom line profitability, as Jan was just saying, is is definitely under pressure, and it's going to become more under pressure from wage growth. So I think you know the stocks are are telling us, and investors are telling us that you know this is potentially as good as it gets. And also, in addition to all the cost pressures, these retailers, a lot of them, are not done investing in their business in supply chain in free delivery and all those things that the consumer demands right now.